What's up, long hairs? El Moreno here, and this is my one year hair yeah. update. Yep, it's true, and it's hard to believe that it's been one year since the Great Cut, the world record breaking charity event, where I donated 24 inches of hair and shaved my head to the skin. Man, it was an awesome day. It's a lot, it's a good time for a reflection of what it took for us to pull that event off, but really how special it was for all the people who came, who experienced it, who mailed in their hair, who contributed to an amazing, amazing achievement, which helped hundreds of kids with medically related hair loss. So, so special. And, and I think back to the day or two after I did the hair donation there and I'm sitting with a buzzed head, the air flowing through the skin just feeling a little chilly. I was thinking to myself, man, coming back, growing back, going through the awkward stage again, it's gonna suck. I was fearful, but you've seen, we've documented it here. I think this is the seventh video in this series, so you've seen the growth come along. Funny thing is that anxiety and worrying was for nothing because this has been one of the easiest things I've ever set out to do. And I would even go as far as to say, the awkward stage is easy. Okay, I get it. You're like, dude, what the hell are you talking about, man? It ain't easy for me. I know, I know. Let me explain. Yeah. You see, I have a unique life profile that gives me an advantage against the resistance that you're gonna feel while you're growing your hair out. And I've really broken this down to four main categories. That's right, four main categories of resistance. And if you can get through all these, then your path to growing your hair out is gonna be a lot easier. Okay, so the first one is age. I'm 34 years old and I've had enough life experience that fortunately I'm comfortable in my own skin no matter what my hair length is. Now I would have considered this process much harder from the ages of 18 to 24 because I didn't have the same confidence that I do now. For you young guys who are still in school or living with your parents, your age is gonna have a direct impact in the amount of pressure you're gonna feel from the authority figures around you. Good news is I have a little tool for you to combat that resistance and I'll get to that in a minute. All right, number two, relationship status. Fortunately, I'm a married man. I have a beautiful wife. I don't have to worry about looking good for the girls, but trust me, I did. I did from probably 14 years old to 28 years old. I cared a lot about that. And what that meant for me was pretty much having a sharp, tight haircut. So for all you guys who are pushing through the awkward stage and you're still out there dating or you're trying to find a lady for yourself, listen man, just remember, you look good. Do what you can to make it look decent while you're going through the awkward stage. But the big key is, the girls aren't there for your hair, man. And honestly, they don't care a ton about how you look. It's about what's in the heart, my man. It's about what's in the heart. So be a gentleman, be a good guy, be honest, be true, let your emotions show, and you're gonna be fine. Number three, job. I am blessed enough to be able to own my own business, operate my own business, so I don't have a HR department or a boss, you know, breathing down my neck about grooming standards. So that's a luxury there. And in some workplaces, it may not be the HR department or the boss who's giving you crap. Could just be your coworkers, busting your balls, giving you lip. Look, just stay strong, stick the path. Who cares what they say? Number four, family. Now I'm in a really unique position in this one because I have co-founded and worked for a company where the core focus is to inspire confidence, develop masculinity, and foster community among guys growing their hair. And for that reason, my family really has a full buy-in on this, so everyone's on board. So I don't really feel much resistance uh, through my family. And I'm very blessed to be in this position. But for a lot of you guys, that's not the case. Maybe some of the harshest comments or most resistance you're gonna get is gonna come from your loved ones. Could be your mom and dad, could be your brother, sister, could be your cousins, whatever. They're gonna dig in deep. They're gonna try to get you to crack. But look, just remember this, man. You're not doing it for them, you're doing it for yourself. So you gotta just stay strong, you gotta hold your line, and honestly, just take it. 
Prove them wrong. Prove them wrong, man. Some of you may be in a similar situation in some of these categories, but I do realize I am very uniquely positioned in all four of these categories, which has made going through the awkward phase incredibly simple. Now for you guys who are getting resistance in every single one of those categories, we feel for you, man. Or if you know somebody who is, who's trying to grow their hair out, tell them, there's a community here. There's a guys, there's a place. There's a whole YouTube channel. There's a whole website. There's a whole store for guys growing their hair. So send them our way, man. We'd love to send them that inspiration. We'd love to bring them into the community. And if you're one of those guys, welcome. So stoked to have you here. So now I wanna reveal the biggest secret to combating any resistance that you're gonna face. And that is growing for a cause. I had talked about it in the beginning. It's been one year since the Great Cut. It was an amazing event, just so powerful. Please go watch the recap video. We did just post a long form documentary last week. So that's the previous upload to this one. Check that out, man, if you wanna get inspired and see what the Great Cut 2019 was all about. But we have launched the Great Cut 2024 and it's your time to grow for a cause to help kids with medically related hair loss you better believe it we're going to break that guinness world record again but most importantly we're going to help more kids we've made these really cool growing to donate shirts which show anybody who's giving you any resistance why you're doing it you can get on our interest list and you can check out the shirts at thegreatcut.us and guys if you make that commitment to grow, to donate, you have four years, you have plenty of time to grow it long, to enjoy it, to have fun with it, and then to cut it off to help some kids, man. And you don't need to shave it all the way to the skin like I did. You can cut it up right up to your shoulders. That's what I'm gonna do this time. I'm just going to the shoulders, so I'm not going shaved again all the way. That's gonna be up to El Rubio this time. He needs to do it. And then you know what? That's exciting because then El Rubio can come out with his whole Grow With El Rubio series until we do the third installment of The Great Cut. So exciting stuff, man. Go check it out, thegreatcut.us. So let me give you a little status update here on the growth, how things have been going. I'm loving this right now because really all I need to do is this. I can just kind of hand comb and I'm good to go, man. And this is exactly how I've been wearing it the last couple months. It's just natural. Let's check out the sides and back. Give a little pan for you here. Got some solid growth, you know? It's getting there, man. It's getting there. We are getting very close to having real long hair. Uh, you know, honestly, six months to a year till we're full flow. Cause let's, uh, let's pull this down on the sides. You kind of see where I'm at on the sides if I just have everything straight down here. Yeah. So we're just about past the ear. This is a big benchmark because I'm, I'm really past the stuff that I talked about in the last video where the ears were poking out and kind of all the weird stuff that goes on around the ears, it's now long enough to get tucked behind the ear, which is nice. Now I still could clean up these little sideburns, but you know, that will hold. And if I really wanted to, I haven't really been doing this, but I could just wear it straight down like this. And I got a nice full coverage of the ear. So it's looking good, man. And uh, honestly, that last little trim that I did, from the previous video, it, it's helped. It's gone a long way to where my style looks good now. That's why those little trims pay off. You know, it's not a big cut. It's not gonna slow you down a ton. It's just a maintenance thing. And I haven't touched it since then. And look where I'm at. I think I'm looking, uh, looking pretty solid here. So we're gonna continue our path. We're gonna keep growing and it's going well. Oh, let me do the nose test. I gotta do the nose test. You guys like this one. So from the front, just, Right about at the nose, covering the eyes here. <laughs> so good progress, man. Thanks for tuning in. It's been really fun going through this journey with you over this year, coming back to long hair. Hope you've got some value out of it. Check out thegreatcut.us. Check out those growing to donate t-shirts. Get pumped for the Great Cut 2024. It is coming, it is happening. And if there's anybody out around you who's thinking about that growing their hair or who has thought about donating, let them know about the Great Cut. This is something we as a community can do together, change a bunch of kids' lives, and set another Guinness World Record. If you like the video, guys, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Till next time, guys, be safe out there. I know it's crazy times. I didn't even talk about the pandemic that's going on because honestly, there's too much of it. Maybe this was a little break, but stay safe. Love y'all. Soup!